What is up guys, this is your boy Kid Ray, aka Fighting His Finest, and in this matchup we got me versus Boxing IQ 101, one of my friends on PlayStation 3, and probably the best head-to-head -head fighter I've ever come across. As you can see there, he's had a record of 103 wins and no losses, and I'm not going to even lie, I'm not going to even start to act like it was a competitive close fight. This is a video that I'm bringing you for the first time with me completely getting my ass handed to me. Like, he completely decimated me. This is the worst loss I had on fight night in about three to four months. Last, last fight that I had where I was getting my ass handed to me this bad was during the summer when I met my teacher, Dope Boy 78 and... I was 90 and 15 at the time. You no, know, I wasn't too bad. It was still a lot of stuff I didn't know about the game. But, you know, I was learning and I was watching other people and taking some of the stuff they did and labbing out, practicing, and picking some things up on my own and, you know, implementing certain strategies. But I was still youngin' at the time. Right now, I consider myself to be a complete master of the game. But in this fight, it shows, still shows me that there's still a lot. A discipline I must learn in my styles and how I take fights and how I do things uh, recently I'm not gonna lie I, I've been tooting my own horn been a little prideful almost like a relapse where I feel nobody's better than me but you know I, I really believe in my name as being fight night's finest cuz I do believe I'm probably the best player on OWC in my opinion and from what I've seen um, on fight night on the PlayStation 3. There's there's all the good guys in here too, man. Just because you're sometimes the best doesn't mean you don't lose. In his case, I will have to say that isn't true, cause I haven't, like I said, haven't got my ass handed to me this badly in such a long time. So you know, it was a very humbling experience this fight, and it shows me that not that I don't know a lot about the game. I just feel I have to implement what I know better into different strategies and things. Uh. Right from the beginning, if you notice, I'm still in South Pole stance. Kawasaki is a natural South Pole that, that was a stance in real boxing, you know. That's why it's put like that in the game. I'm not a South Pole fighter, even though I know how to fight South Pole. Uh, as you can see, I'm not doing too bad in terms of throwing combinations. But, you know, right from the beginning, I wanted to test his tendencies out as usual. My plan wasn't to win the first three rounds, as you're going to see. I stay in South Pole the entire time. Uh, fighting, uh, 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 in fighting style. Um, I'm still kind of devastated by this loss because, like I said, I haven't lost this bad in a long time. But I just want to figure out what he's going to do, what he's about, what's his style, you know. Just gathering stuff in the first round. I could tell he is a defensive fighter. He's going to look for counter opportunities and he's going to fight tall. He's not a guy who's going to move around the ring too much. Uh, he's not going to come forward if he doesn't have to. And, you know, he's a very disciplined, good, solid boxer. And there's nothing else more to say about his style. It's exactly what it is. What you see is what you get. And I, my goal was to try to attack the body from the beginning. Try to diminish the stamina right from the start. I saw um, a beatdown that Relapse was taken this morning on YouTube. And, you know, even though he did come back and get like a sweaty comeback, almost you could say that. Uh, he came back and he won the fight, and you know he did it by attacking the stamina. I mean, stamina attacks is something that I'm pretty good at, and you know I have showed it in previous videos like versus Ravage Land and others. But you know, there was a mistake I made in this game where I was going to the body for no reason. He wasn't throwing a combination, and then I went to the body. He just, I was just going to the body in order to land shots. Because I was having a tough time landing anything upstairs. As you can see there, I'm, I'm starting to get a little better on the countering. It's kind of getting his timing down of his punches. But you know, I never really quite got all his combinations down. They were simple. But when he threw them, it was, it was kind of hard for me to tell. Everybody normally has that I fight on OWC. Normally has a specific time to throw punches. Maybe they might wait three seconds. Or you might hit them on the combo and, and they immediately want to fire back. But in this case, in this in this instance, he was just literally waiting for the right opportunity to punch. So it's whenever he figured there was a hole in my offense.
that he could go ahead and counter back on me, he will go ahead and that's when he will throw back. Um, right now, it's still more the same. I'm still pressuring him. I'm still trying to get in his face. And you know, I'm still trying to learn his tendencies. And that's going to be basically for the first three rounds. And you know, recently, well, this isn't a recent topic. It's been a topic that's been on round, probably since round four. I didn't have round four. But it's probably been a, to a topic that's uh, been around for a long time. And that is, who is better? There's a certain, there's two different sets of fighters on this game. There's head-to-head -head guys, and then there's OWC guys. Yes, there's guys who fight both. Like, I will fight both. I will fight head-to-head. -head. But mainly, I'm an OWC guy. That's where I, I guess you could say I make my bread and butter. is by going into OWC and fighting those type of fights. OWC is, as you probably already know, is just creating your own fighter building them up and then fighting other people's credit fighters online and head to head is using licensed boxes by licensed boxes we're talking about people who are famous you know who are actual pro boxes on the world level where got guys like Roy Jones and company on the, on the game and use those guys to fight in head to head thing that I notice about head to head and OWC is you know it's pretty much the same thing but old um, head to head does have its flaws and so does OWC like OWC has like almost perfect block and if you know how to do it on head to head it's almost impossible to hit people I mean body blows are more effective in head to head than they are in OWC like I said there's, there's a bunch of differences you know even though I have quite a bit of time on the video to talk about them I, I'm not gonna really get into it but the argument is you know who is better is it head to head or is it OWC um, from what I experience, and this is just my personal experience, some other people might have different views on it, but what I've seen is that probably head-to-head -head guys are better. I'm talking about in terms of the cream of the crop versus the cream of the crop for head-to-head -to -head in OWC. I'll, I will give it to head-to-head, -to -head, but at the same time, I only fought people on their level on head to head I've beaten some good head to head guys like Rosalind's Finest and other people on this game in their own mode like I said I'm an OWC guy but you know I haven't really taken the best of head to head and took them on in OWC where most likely I will shine or I'll probably come out on top in this case here I'm in his comfort zone this is what he does this is what he knows best I do know how to fight head to head as you can see from my record I'm not too bad um, I can hold my own but versus the head to head guys like it's almost impossible to hit them where it's like every fight I normally have I'm probably in the 40% landing high 40 mid 40s sometimes 50s or 60s if they're bad and then they're normally always in the 30% and you're gonna see at the end of the scorecards here how the roles are kind of re reversed where I'm in the opposite position which means he just completely owned me uh, I'm not doing a too bad of a job at this point of controlling my stamina but right here is the fourth round and as you see I'm in orthodox stance right now I'm trying to take the fight to him I'm not playing no games no troubles um I'm looking to win now from right here on and Sadly, I can't force him to make an adjustment. Right now, I feel I'm winning the round. But once he lands those counters, uh, the rounds are going to pretty much go to him. And so is the rest of my confidence in order to win the fight. But the head-to-head -head guys, I feel like their defense is almost impossible to hit them. Uh, I had a guy on here that I fought. Like, his name isn't too pronounceable. Just only the middle part is MVM. Some good people would probably heard of him already. Um, Box IQ asked me about him at the end of this fight, actually, and you know he was almost impossible to hit. Like I would probably land like three or two punches out of the entire round on the guy, and you know he would just pick his shots and his defense was just so good. Um, he was also using Chad Dawson. Um, Chad Dawson in that fight, I was using Bernard Hopkins, and you know pretty much he destroyed me as well and then we did a fight where it was lightweight it was Pernell Whitaker versus Pernell Whitaker and I ended up rage quitting just out of the fact that one I don't like fighting somebody with the same boxer like if you have 
Parnell Whitaker, I'm gonna choose somebody different. I'm not gonna choose Parnell Whitaker as well, but also just from being frustrated to the fact that I couldn't really hit him. I'm not a sore loser or anything, but you know, if you constantly putting out your best effort and it's not really producing any effects, you're you're gonna get frustrated. And you know, even if I try to change it up on him, it's pretty much gonna be the same thing. At this point in time in this fight, that was which I'm commentating on now. Uh I can't really change up styles. I can't now decide to switch to an outside fighting style because once I try to stay on the outside, he's gonna take me apart because now he has the opportunity to come forward. The thing that's keeping me from going down at this point is the fact that I was coming forward. Now, as you can see, when I start to back up a bit, he starts to land more on me. Once I try to stay on the outside a bit, Hopkins uses his range, um, Dawson uses his range very well, and he starts to land more punches on me. So, even at this point in time, I'm recording this right after I fought him, so I don't really know what adjustments I could have made at the point. I'll probably have to go back and study the video a little bit a little bit more but it's just complete domination that I repeat um that I took in this fight and like I said it doesn't really happen too often so it's a humbling and it's a learning experience for me so in terms of the question of who's better in terms of each game mode of head to head versus OWC I will have to say from what I've seen so far is head to head because after I learned everything there is to know about the game on OWC, and now I feel that I'm an expert on it, I have never been dominated this badly by an opponent. Um, there has been times where I'll get maybe against one guy who, you know, he fights. There's a certain style that I just can't seem to handle. I know how to beat it. It's just something that gives me too much trouble to the fact where I don't want to try anymore and I just want to hurry up and end up getting the fight over with or I already know once I see it it's going to be a, a losing match for me just based on how I fight you know sometimes it's just styles and matchups when I say matchups I mean it's like certain people that you fight that have a certain style you know that gives you trouble not that you're not a good player it would just result in you getting a complete utter smackdown like I faced in this video and no the style that he's fighting right now normally doesn't give me too much trouble I, I normally can pick guys apart on, when they do stuff like this it's the constant step into the same direction that I normally would step with which would be my right which would give me too much trouble and then due to the fact that my fighter on OWC is an end fighter it would take too long to catch up so let me um stay concentrating on the gameplay that was just a bit of a topic that I wanted to discuss about head to head versus OWC and you know right here I'm still doing the same thing I'm just trying to throw more because I realized I can land about a three punch combination I could land one out of three I could probably land two right there he caught me right there and as you can see once I start to throw more punches I realize I can hit him more but he is firing him back he is firing back which does give him the round and because I'm throwing more and I'm missing more my punch accuracy is going down and you know it's the judges look for aggressiveness um effectiveness against aggression and by me going up there and throwing so many punches it's giving him the round because I'm not hitting him as much as I should for the amount of punches that I'm throwing out and by him just staying patient and staying defensive it's giving him the round and honestly at this point in the, in the fight and just for the rest of the fight I have no counter to it normally I could switch up to a certain style like I might switch to outside fighting I'm already I'm not really inside fighting with the guy I'm kinda kinda boxing with him it's kinda more of a I'm desperate at this moment I have to throw punches I have to throw what I know I have to do something to try and land or something to create a counter countering I can't do because I can't pin down his time and when he's gonna throw a punch sometimes as you can see when I pump block there I'm, I'm waiting for the receipt to come by so I could maybe hit him with a side step or I could back step or I could probably move my head a bit and get a counter off of it however that's not the case right now because I don't know it's timing so one I can't control the amount of counters that I land and land or throw more counters than he does so that's one part that's not going to give me an around two I'm being more aggressive 
and I'm throwing a lot more punches because I'm desperate and I need to land in order to win the rounds. My defense is not doing too bad of a job, but the difference in the round is that one, he's being more patient, two, I'm throwing more, and three, he's actually finding counters. So at the point in this fight, I, I didn't really have a counter to it. One thing I think I could have done better was probably, now that I think on it, it's probably just be more defensive, you know, probably not be so aggressive. I was landing power punches with that push straight or just a push to the body. Um, just I'm just pushing and throw a punch afterwards, which will give me an opportunity to land. But it wasn't really going to, unless if I spammed it, which I probably could, I wasn't going to win the round anyway, especially with him getting the counters. Uh, if you land more counters, you're nine times out of ten gonna win the round because of your effectiveness against um, aggression, which is something that the game menu says that the judge's scorecard looks for whenever it's given determine who won or lost a round. You know, not that the judge's court um scoring on this game is perfect, cause it's far from it. There's times where I landed way more to than my opponent, landed more power punches and counter shots. And they still gave my opponent the round. So it's not that it's perfect, but in this in this case it's doing a pretty damn good job of determining who's winning and losing the rounds. As you can see, due to my over aggression and my desperateness, I'm now low in stamina. So now things are gonna definitely get bad for me if I decide to take a step back. Well I take one right there, but when I say take a step back, if I try to switch to outside fighting, as you can see right there, my hands are down, my stance is going, I'm tired, and you know, eventually he's going to realize that. I think he realizes it the next round coming up, actually. Uh, it's just going to be a round where my stamina is extremely low, where he's going to realize it, and then he's going to go and try to take advantage of it. But you know, it's the same strategy, you know, right now I'm not able to get inside. And then he just starts picking me off. I get a counter right there, but he starts picking me off once I can't get in close. Once I'm not chest to chest with him, and he's at mid range, he's just picking me apart. I don't do well at all from mid range. It's either I'm gonna be outside of his range and let him walk into shots and get hit, or I'm gonna be up close and I'm gonna try to land the best way I can and land all the punches I possibly can. But the best chance I had is when I've been close to chest to chest, to chest with him. Not when I've been on the outside. Uh, I mean, not when I've been at mid-range. I do okay once I'm on the outside right here. You see, I'm hurt, and I'm not thrown here. I take a step back, and once I start doing that, um, my stamina starts to regain a bit. But, you know, then he hits, and I have to get back inside. And then it's going to cause me to get picked off more. Um, I'm starting to be a little more defensive here because he hurt me and I want to kind of regain my health before I step back in there because you know I'm, I'm going to have to slug it out with the guy in order to even have a chance of maybe getting a sweaty which is not going to happen but this is my thinking at the moment I think I got to get close to him and maybe I could throw punches maybe he's low in stamina I mean I noticed his stance isn't as if he had 100% stamina so I'm thinking he's probably in the 70-80 range while I'm obviously down below 50 percent probably in mm, about to say high 40s low 40s maybe high 30s it's just not where my stamina should be in order for me to win and as you can see right there he's just picking me apart whenever i can't whenever i'm at mid-range and i'm not chest to chest in with him so it's just more of the same in this fight it's just more of the same beat down that i've been taking all fight there's just nothing really much more I can do. The fight's pretty much lost. It's been lost once I realized switching to south, um, orthodox stance from southpaw stance. That the fight's been pretty much over since then. When I realized I couldn't, I couldn't outbox him. I couldn't outland him. Uh, if I wanted to make a proper adjustment, I probably would have had to do it at that time. But now it's, it's just too late. I don't have the stamina to come back. Uh, head to head, there's not a good chance that you getting flashed. So it's just gonna be more of the same for the rest of the fight. It's just me trying to, and right here I get stunned by a left hook, and then it just wows out on me with some fast, quick punches, and that puts me down on the canvas for the first time. There's not gonna be no chin checking for me today. And there's not gonna be no sweaty comebacks neither. 
I'm up against the ropes. Right here, I'm still in Southpaw. I forget to switch back. And, you know, I try to fight back real quick. Maybe if I could hit a stamina from him being over aggressive, I could probably get a quick knockdown. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe I could test out something that he's doing. And, you know, it's, nothing really changes. It's just the same just the same thing and you know I'm watching it now and I'm thinking why am I repeating the same cycle now nah, I'm being now I'm up against the ropes and he stuns me and then takes me down again for the second knockdown that I received in the fight and, you know I'm looking at it now and I'm like what can I have possibly done it was just a perfect gameplay on his for uh, on his part and now that I'm not being the aggressor now I have to use my defense and see if it could help me to stay up. Cause now I'm now I'm getting beat down. I lean back there, get some good blocks off of it, and then you know he goes right back to what he's been doing. He goes right back to work. Now he can be aggressive. Now he can turn up the heat. Cause now I don't have what it takes to fight back. Not that I don't have combinations and stuff lined up, but I don't have the stamina. And my damage is low because I'm cut. And right there, I go down for the third time. All in one round, which never happens to me. I go down for the third time. And I get up here. Uh, I don't think I'm going to let this guy knock knock me out. That I will save for the end for you guys. But now I have to use my defense and kind of survive. And, you know, maybe look for a way to win the fight in the next round. Which I don't do. I'm just at this point, I just don't want to get knocked out. So what I end up doing is... um. Right here, I'm thinking defense, defense, defense. I'm thinking just like a fighter would who gets tagged. And, you know, he knows he's hurt and he knows he can't win the fight. I'm just thinking, don't get knocked out now. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, he starts throwing back at me, of course. He starts taking aggressive style, waste some time there. I try to get off the ropes with the clinch, which will give me some separation. And then I'm able to move back around the ring. However, I go right back to the ropes. You know, normally have a technique where I will move forward. And because people are so cautious on this game, they will step back. And then I will allow me to get back to the center of the ring. So right here now, I'm trying to use my defense and maybe throw a punch out every now and again. In order to keep me from getting knocked down. As you can see, he's being more aggressive here. And you might see me slip a few punches and I have an opportunity to counter back. However, I don't take them because my stamina is low and my health is pretty much low. So I don't have what it takes in order to counter back and you know really hurt him or do a lot of damage without him receiving a, without me receiving another shot. Right there, I use my head movement. That's a little defensive technique that I learned from one of my boys. Uh, you know, it, it keeps me from getting knocked down. Uh, it does its purpose uh, because my stamina is low, my blocking isn't as good. Uh, I lean down there to block those uppercuts to the body, and that doesn't really work. So I would I'd try to escape the ropes real quick, but you know it's still much more the same throwback whenever I'm just trying to keep him off me and it, it just ends up being the same thing. Now I feel like I'm fighting my boy Killer Gorilla who always comes forward and always traps me up against the ropes and you know I have to use like step backs and I have to wait for opportunities to punch in between his combinations in order to throw back and uh, land some shots and win the round. And, um, yeah, when I fight Killer Gorilla, that's normally what ends up happening. But in those cases, I have the stamina and I have the health in order to fight back without worrying about too much of being knocked down in terms of being worried. And he stuns me right there, but that's after, that's a late hit. And I end up losing the fight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is your boy Kid Ray, a.k.a. Fight Night's Finest, Fight Night's Finest, <laughs> signing off.